In this video, we will show you a success case in monitoring vibrating screens. The screen I'm going to talk about here is being monitored by Dynamox's wireless system. And in this case, we are going to focus on a problem identified in one of the springs. The spring that appears here in the photos is on the front part, on the right side, and the sensor we can't really see here in this picture, but it's here at the base, monitoring temperature and triaxial vibration. Here below, we can see some graphs that were generated by the system, where it's possible to see an evolution in acceleration, both in the vertical and in the axial axis. This evolution reached alarm levels in the system, which generated an email warning the client. As a result, the customer's own inspection team scheduled a complete field inspection, which resulted in the identification of defects in this spring. They even took some pictures showing that the spring set was already damaged, including some springs out of the place, as we can see here. Now I'm going to show you guys the graphs in real time within the web platform. First, this is our mass velocity graph, which is updated quite often in a matter of minutes. In this case, the users configure it to be every 30 minutes, and we can see here a little evolution in the vertical axis and the little one in the axle one as well. But we are going to see that this is not really the, the best graph. Down here, we can see that the temperature remained constant. We do have some variations, but only related to day and night, which is usually a normal variation. Here on the RMS acceleration graph, though, we can see the evolution much clearer. Also, in this graph, we see one of the main advantages of having a triaxial measurement system. If we were monitoring, in this case, only the horizontal axis, as we can see, we would not have noticed any evolution. On the other hand, if we look at the vertical and the axle, we can see precisely the levels violating this red dotted line, which is the most critical level of alarm here within the system. We can also see the same evolution in the spectral trend, which is based on a longer collection the sensors can perform. Well, another useful tool within the system is the spectral waterfall. Here we also see the evolution, mainly in harmonics and subharmonics of the vibrating screen rotation. Opening the spectrum from August 29th, we can see precisely several harmonics of the machine's RPM, with emphasis on the axial axis. Here below we can also see the original waveform. And another tool that is available within the system is autocorrelation. It shows us what is repetitive or periodic in the signal and removes everything else. In this circular view, we can plot several turns based on the machine's RPM. Six, seven turns, and we can see that uh, as, we, as we rotate it, there is an irregular movement in this spring. The movement has even like higher amplitudes in part of it. That is, it's not really homogeneous as it should be. Well, guys, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. A little bit of how to identify failures in this type of component and how the Dynamox system can help with that.